Hey there, this is Juan V with JVH Productions. Uh, what I'm about to show you now, I am going to show you how to convert your MPC session files to WAV format so that you're able to uh, mix your your song or your beat in another DAW uh, to have more uh, control of, of your session. So, um, first of all, here is my main menu, which I already have this song together. Uh, here is my song, which is already together, uh, just how I want it to be played. And uh, there's the name of my song. Now, first thing that you want to do uh, is you want to make sure that to have uh your everything named uh, you know make make sure everything is matching up uh, like your piano with your pianos and whatever that you have so it will make things a lot better towards the end if if everything is matched up um so we're going to go back here to my song and first thing that we want to do is come right here under name your song name your song then come right here where it says convert to sequence now first thing you want to do is go ahead you, then you include your muted tracks or without your muted tracks I don't have any muted tracks so I'll just leave it as it is and the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and have that uh, convert your song session into a sequence so it can be uh, um, so your tracks can be bounced okay then once that's done it's going to leave this one right here this uh, sequence right here now next thing you want to do is you want to go back to your main menu uh, where you created your beat and then just go down here and you're gonna see it right here that's where it's gonna lay it at set it up to where <clears throat> that's open and there is your complete song right here uh, there's your pads uh, there are your pads now if you have any audio uh, like any audio files they'll they'll be there as well okay now what you want to do now is you want to get all of these um, converted you want to bounce all your tracks and even your your other uh, tracks that you have in there your other plugins or or programs that you have in there so what you want to do is you want to go up here and uh, now this is to look yeah I forgot to tell you uh, click it on track view and as you can see this is what you want to do you want to pull it on track view and so that your pads your drum pads and any other plugins that you use in that session will show up and any audio uh, wave files that you use will also show up now, these are all the instruments that I used in my session so now what you want to do is to get your 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 drum pads separated so you have control over those uh, in the mixing in the mixing when it's time to mix what you want to do is you want to highlight your drum pads then you want to go over here to your edit and then go down here to it says tracks and then you want to choose explode what that's going to do that's going to uh, put your drum pad on on a mute and give each of those drum pads a separate channel so here we go and you see it muted the drum pad and it made those um, instruments that's on that drum pad separate tracks so there were and it gave me 19 tracks a total now as you can see it gave me 19 tracks and uh, so that's it so the next thing that you want to do once you explode your tracks you want to go over here and you want to find export you don't want to export as a audio mix down what you want to do is you want to export as an Apple Ableton live set okay so 
if you had any uh, sessions any volume panning or volume control pan settings you would check this right here and what this is going to do is going to export all your MIDI data into a wave format so to wave uh, format and I usually check this here for mixing but you can leave it it automatically it'll uh, give you that but for uh, I, I like to to bounce it like that and then all you do is just find where you want to bounce it I've got it set up here let me go to where uh, the name of this song and there is my stems and let me name my song uh, stems and then all you do is just hit hit save and what it's going to start doing depending on how many tracks that you have in your project it's going to export those tracks one by one until you have them all exported so I won't uh, sit here and bore you with each track being exported out I'll just go ahead and come back once it's done and then I'll show you where those tracks ended up at okay I'm down to my last uh, few tracks to be uh, bounced um, there was a lot of tracks in this session so it it took a while to uh, get these here uh, exported so now as you can see normally it's turning into a Ableton Live I wasn't expecting to see that um, um, let's go here uh, that shouldn't have came up uh, so what I'm going to do here is as you can see oh boy this is bad okay here we go um, just in case this does happen and crashed as it did um, just in case it did crash as it did as you can see that it made it into a Ableton Live project and those audio samples were supposed to go into the uh, samples but what it did it, since it, it went ahead and crashed that's not a problem and here are all the files that was imported so those are it were 19 tracks um, all you just have to do is just go to where it says ALS ex exports and then there are your files right there okay I got my session back up here um, the problem had I didn't save everything so make sure you save everything before you uh, do that final um, uh, before you go in and try to bounce everything but normally what would happen is um, your files in this ALS these WAV files here would be placed into this Apple Ableton imported file so as you can see it started to do it but then it, it crashed on me but uh, then you have your your Ableton live uh, you know your Ableton live session there so this took me a while to learn and I know it's you're probably wondering how to do that as well so thanks for tuning in and if you have any questions uh, just drop me a comment or drop me a line or email or something so this is Juan V with JVH Productions and we'll talk to you later